All right, we've got everything set up, got the underwater camera situated. Nathan's going to walk us through an FG knot. So we're going to tie an FG. We've got 17 pound suffix fluoro for a liter, tied into what is this, 30 pound? I 30 pound Power, Power Pro? Pro, yep. Just like the pros. Yeah. Um, so I was using my teeth, but that'll make me talk funny. I'll go like this, hold it, got my main line, and then come underneath with my fluoro, okay? Give myself enough, I go around and under hard, around, back. And so all I'm doing is going, just alternating sides on my main line. And I'm gonna do that 20 times. I'm at six, seven, eight. And you wanna pull this tight. Nine, 10, 11, Really simple knot. Hardest part is counting to 20, but it's the smoothest knot. I always wonder, like who came up with this and who got to name it the FG knot? Because every time I hear <laughs> FG knot, I'm like, I think I know what that stands for, but I'm not F sure. Or F Shh. gangster, something like that. Really? <laughs> I don't know. I know what NFG stands for. It's a flipping good knot. How about that? Yeah, it's a flipping good knot. So there we go. We've got our wraps. Look at those beautiful wraps. Then we're going to lay the top end of our floral in onto our main line. And we're going to just do a half hitch. Okay. And then pull that tight. Right. And so we just slid that half hitch down. We're going to tie another half hitch. Slide that down. Now, the fun part about this is you get to spit on it. There you go. And then... Don't forget to spit on it. Yep. Both sides. We're going to tighten it up. And it's like the old finger trap. As you pull, it tightens itself onto that line. Okay. It's actually good to wear gloves because you can give yourself a wicked cut if you let a line slip through your fingers. If your hands, especially if your hands are a little soft from, um, I mean, soft from like being in the water and stuff. That's it's all. not soft from not working. And no, too no, not like that. Okay, so then we did that. We did our two hitches. We're going to trim our floral back, and I trim it hard. I go right there. I've never had it, never had one fail. And then we're going to do, watch, I'll say never have one fail. And damn. Yeah, watch, I'm going to lose a 40 incher. Oh, well. <laughs> Better to have hooked up and lost than yeah. to have never hooked up at all. So there, we threw two more hitches, which all they are doing is their hitches around the line. So they're simply smoothing out that bump instead of having, you know, two lines with a um, spiral and then a drop. Instead, we're just kind of tapering that down so that when it hits your line guides, or the edge of the ice, there's less for it to hook up on. Beautiful. There we go, like that. Trim that braid off. And I'll often trim the braid and then um, use a lighter to put a tiny singe on the end. It's, uh, I that's, say that yeah. that's um, not necessary and it's really delicate because if you singe your main line, it will give up on you, but I just singe it just enough. Put a little. Don't try this at home, folks. <laughs> right, exactly. That's what I was Let trying to say. So there's our Let's knot. Focus. There's our FG knot. Wow. Beautiful. All right, now let's fish. Yeah.